Welcome to My Fusion Technologies. Today I came up with an interesting topic that is called How to Short Out Unexpected Errors in Absence Management or Learn How to Use Master Report Absence Data Integrity Detection in Absence Management or Learn How to Fix a Troubleshoot or a Correct Corrupted Records in Absence Management. In fact, we often face this issue in absence management and we should know how to troubleshoot it. So today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot it issue and what type of issue that we face often into absence management. Before we get into the actual discussion, I would request everyone, please watch this video till the end. And if you find this video is interesting, kindly subscribe to my channel and share it with all your fusion friends. Okay, let's go ahead and see how to use master report absence data integrity direction in absence management what is the significance of this report and when do we use this report typically whenever a, an employee is globally transferred from one legal employee to another legal employer if the plans whatever the plans that are associated with that person has not been ended correctly or if those plans are corrupted with incorrect value then we may get some issues or else if the person has any orphan accrual entries or orphan records for the accrual plans then we may get some issue for example recently we have encountered one of the issue that is called whenever an employee login into the system if he goes to me under me if he goes to time and absence and then the moment when he when he clicks on absence balance automatically the following error is being triggered to the person and we don't know how to fix this issue and when we go through this log we found nothing we found something there is some issue with the accrual plan but with which accrual plan do we are we getting issue and how to fix this issue we were we were un unsure so in order to fix this issue we have followed certain steps Basically, we don't try to figure out which record got failed out so normally we can see from the back end but even if you see the from back end so you can't fix this issue this type of issues so to fix this type of issue i'm going to show you what are the steps that we have to follow now so now i logged in as an admin now i'm going to show you what are the steps that we have to follow in order to fix the unexpected error that we encountered in absence management so yeah to fix that this type of issue first we have to go to the uh, login as an admin and then go to the troubleshooting section under troubleshooting section click on run diagnostic test as soon as you click on run diagnostic test then automatically the diagnostic page will be open so this is my diagnostic page so once you go here search for the text name as this one so i'm going to take the text name as master report absence data integrity direction this is the report this is the text name that we have to search for it contains all the details of absence so once you search for just click on add click on select and then add to run once you click on add to run click on input status this is where we have to pass the parameters so yeah once this piece is appeared then what you have to do is so you have to specify the from date to date these two are mandatory and then you have to follow the parameters in different formats either you can use parameter as person number or person number and text code or any of these fields like legal employer legislative data group business unit and test code this is the combination that you have to follow now what i'm trying to do is i'm following one approach 
before we specify the from date to date we need to make sure to we need to know what is the from date or to date how can you decide what is the from date or to date if you are really sure that this issue is being happening from last two days or uh, earlier it was good then you can go ahead and run this report for the current year whenever you face that issue if you are unsure about that issue when this issue has been happening then what you can do is you can you can go ahead and run this report from the for the current year previous year and past to first year if you want or else normally i would recommend you to run this process for the current year once and previous years so now what i will do i'm going to select from date as 01 01 2020 i'm running this report for the current year so 12 31 2020 and then as i mentioned earlier here either you have to use the person number if you if you know i mean if you are encountering this issue only for one person number you have to use the person number or if you are facing this issue specific to one legal employer then we have to use the legal employer or if you are facing this issue specific to one legislation then you have to use the legislation or else you can use other combination just person number alone or you can use either person number alone or person number test code or any of this option along with the test code now i'm going to pass the person number in order to pass the person number just click on person number here and then specify the person number of employee for which you are going to run this diagnostics and then if you are sure that this issue is happening recently earlier it was working fine for this year then you can go ahead and run the process for this year alone or if you are unsure i mean this might be because of last year in accruals as well then you can take the last year date first first you can run for last year like 2019 first january 1st to june 2019 january 31st and you can run for january 2020 and uh, january december 31st 2020 this is how you can run couple of times or else so if you are not, if you are very sure like you know this is happening because of some accruals which happened few days ago and this has happened due to uh, the person uh, got global data transfer recently and uh, there could be chance of accruals might be corrected if you if you if you have if you are sure about like this then you can just go ahead and run for the current year now i'm presuming for this year only so i'm going to run for this year select the parameters here and then month i'm giving 12 31st 2020 so this is how you have to use okay and then this is 2000 I'm running for this year from January 2022 to December 2020 and then click on OK. As soon as you click on OK, this will be added to the parameter section. So yeah. If you see here, earlier its status was different, now it was changed. It was just click it to green mark, then click on run. Once you click on run, so text run submitted successfully, just click on OK and then refresh it. So yeah, refresh it, refresh it. So in case if this text is failed, you can see the text results in the below section now this section so let me see so this is my current run results so i'm just clicking on this one once you click on this one you can see the diagnostic reports just go ahead and open click on this diagnostic report as soon as you click on the diagnostic report then you can see the master detail output so just click on this report as soon as you click on the report automatically a new tab will be open okay so here you can see the output of master report absence data integration deduction 
if you look at here so we pass the parameter january 1st 2022 december 31st and then for the person number 17 we have passed it now if you look at the output of this test name it contains all the process so yeah in case if anything wrong in the period of service table with the service then you can get that record over here if you get that record then you can go ahead and run this process so that that will be corrected that's what it means similarly in case if it is fail, failing because of some formula then you will get that formula over here and then only because of that formula it is getting corrected then take this in text name and then go ahead and run this text name so that that will issue will be resolved similarly if you are getting any issue with the termination records of enrollments then you will get that record over here in case if if, if you're getting this issue because of this enrollments then you will get that issue here so when you whenever you get that issue take this text name and go ahead and run this text name so that that issue will be corrected similarly for cancel work relationship also so yeah so if you get any uh, issue with the cancel work relationship i mean this te test retrieves r phone absences whose work relationship has been cancelled if you get any issue then we have to uh, we will find that record over here as soon as you find any record over here as of now it's re retrieving zero if you find any record over here then make sure you go ahead and take this text name and then run this text name so that that this issue will be corrected similarly for work relationship uh, for enrollments so similarly here this test retrieves are for enrollments whose work relationship has been cancelled if you find any record over here then you can uh, understand this is because of enrollment data is not deleted for cancel work relationship that could be the reason for this issue and then in order to fix this issue if you find any one record as of now it is showing zero if you find one record here then then what you have to do is go ahead and run this process if you run this process automatically that issue will be corrected that's what the solution for that issue and similarly for all this but normally what type of issues do we get in most of the cases most of the cases based on my experience i would say these are the issues that we face <coughs> and then you can see like this you can see all the record if you look at this person for this person it is showing incorrect assignment number so yeah this is the best example if you wanted to fix this any issue that you are getting uh, unexpected issue the, the reason could be for this issue will be this one so now we understand that incorrect assignment numbers has been passed that's the reason we are getting this issue to troubleshoot this issue solution if you look at here solution kindly run the test mentioned below to correct the correct data so there could be chance of because of this issue because of this rows the data might be corrected so you have to resolve this one to in order to resolve what you have to do is you have to go ahead and run this process this is the process so take this process name options update assignment number of for work relationship in order to run this process what we have to do is we have to take this test name once you take this test name that's output of your report so yeah these are the parameters that we have passed validated commit from date to date now if you go here it will show you so correcting the corrupt correcting the corrupted data complete for 12 days so earlier 12 days were corrupted now those 12 days got fixed this is how you can go ahead and run for this is how you have to first you have to uh, run the master default first you have to run the master report options data integrated deduction once you run this one when when you are running this report there are three formats either you can use person number or person number test code or any of the other parameters like business unit legal 
employer and list retweet data group and text code so among these three a legal employer list retweet data group business unit you can select anyone along with these three you must select test code that is the format that you have to follow based on my experience past experience i would say we get issues this type of unexpected errors in absence management only because of these three processes either deletion of delete absence of cancel work relationship might be the reason or delete calculation card accrual entries or update assignment number for work schedule most probably we get this type of issues because of these three processes now we we, we have seen how to correct this process similarly for this process also we have we can go ahead and correct it when you find any issue with the delete calculation card entries you just take this test name and go ahead and run it similarly if you find any issue with delete absence of a cancel work relationship then take this test name and then go ahead and run it when you are running the text name make sure you have to pass the right parameters that is very important so yeah again i'm telling you so whenever you want to run this one just go to the double print section there you have to click on run diagnostic as soon as you click on run diagnostics test so this is a place where you have to specify your text name so first what what is the test name that you have to specify our test name should be master report data integrity direction this is the master report for complete absence just run this report run the text with this name and then go ahead and then add it to the input section this is a place where you have to add the input parameters and then uh, if you wanted to figure it out the corruption record specific to the country or legal employer you can run it or if you want to see only one person number just select the parameter as person number and then specify from date to date and then click on ok and then add to run section as soon as you click on run section automatically this will be uh, tested and then you can see the results in the below section in the below section you just click on the results section so that a new window will be opened where you can see the results of diagnostics so from that diagnostic we can identify where exactly the person number got failed where what are the records got corrupted so if you find any corrupted record then take that process name which will suggest you to uh, run it by the master report so take that text name and then run this text name here and then pass the correct effective date from date to date and then submit it once you're done with this then the corrected record will be corrected that's how we can fix the corrected records in absence management hope you understand in case if you have any concerns please write your comments so that i will give it back to you thank you thanks for watching